what's going on guys? Welcome back to Auto Productions. Today I'm here with Brendan. Hi. Um, and we made this mock. Um, we made it together over the past couple weeks. Um, and we just wanted to show it to you guys. So, yeah, I guess, um, Brendan, you just want to start taking us through the mock, working yeah. our way from the beach to forest? Yeah. Um, we might put this time lapses of us building this in. I don't know. Um, but here's gonna be the review. Alright guys, so we're gonna give you a little bit of backstory to what we wanted this mock to be. Go ahead and skip ahead in the video if you don't want to see this, but this might help some with you understanding what we talk about later in the video. Um, so basically, this is... So, if you look back at the mock, um, and you look in this area... There are these guys, which were pretending to be terrorists, running from a burning boat. And so what we're saying is that they set the log cabin on fire to draw out the army. And they thought that they were just going to send a small squad to just, and they would ambush them. Um, but some troops came earlier in the few days that this happened. Um, so they set those troops on fire those troops boat on fire and now this squad is coming through because those troops went missing um so they sent a larger squad to check out what's going on in this area um and they just like they're setting cabins in or pretending that there are more cabins back here so they set one cabin on fire before and now they set a couple on but you can only see one um so if we go back to the whiteboard so this is the burning cabin. Here, I'll make that a different color. So this is the burning cabin. This is the burning boat. Um, and we've got the tank here in this way. There's the turret. The tank is about that. The turret's not that long, but who cares. This is the main road that you can see in the mock. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's an intact cabin. I'll do that with this there's an intact cabin um and then we have a forest here here and here um and then around these areas is a bit of a forest and then this is an ocean or lake or whatever we're pretending it's an ocean right brennan yes also if you forget if I miss anything, um, you can say it. Yep. Um, so that's the ocean. This is the beach. Um, so what we did is we put some wood-looking Lego pieces in here to look like people who settled here blocked in the sand. Um, Do you want me, I'm going to show that right now. Okay. So look over here, and you can see the little kind of shore wall we built in, like here. Here, film up from this angle way over a little here. bit better. And look, there you go. You can kind of see all of it. And there's little bits where the they kind of like let the sand go through. So the, and then that way there's like little paths ones. to go onto the beach. Um. So then going back to the whiteboard. Um. Basically, you have troops looking up onto the beach, um, and and about to attack those terrorists. And then you have a few troops traveling along this path, and you have some troops coming here to check out this cabin. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for the behind the story of the mock, and now let's get into right, the actual So movie. Brendan is going to be doing some narration for this part. Um, so if you want to go ahead and show us the water and the beach. Okay, so as you can see, we have all these um, little details under the water. I can move some of this, and you can see... This is the a little like sea grass, and there's also some fish that we put in here, and a soggy baguette. For, that's a Lego baguette piece. Yes. Would you like to show us the technique that yes. we used for so, the water? If you look at this, these are just these pieces, but stacked up in two. So, and we used those to hold in just a bunch of these pieces we dumped in to give it that more watery effect. And also so that the boat could kind of sink in a little bit. Yeah, so if See? you lift up the boat... Um, you can see that there's less water there, 
I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's less water there, so it looks like the boat is sinking. It gives the effect. Also, um, as Owen pointed out earlier, in the little kind of tea, no, no, there you go, chalkboard, not chalkboard, whiteboard, whiteboard, cut that out. Um, and this is, this here's the burning boat, and here are the terrorists running away from it. There's also all sorts of you little You can see that grass. these two terrorists have lighters. Yes, there's all sorts of little seagrass on the beach, and small little detailing bits just to kind of make it seem more natural. And then here's the wall, and a little owl that's perched up there. And um, now, would you like to do it until, like, the forest, or, Owen, or until Owen? the road? Or do you want me to do that? Go ahead. Um, so, as, whoa, as you can see here, um, here we have the troops moving in between the tree lines where the paths go. Um, and as you can see here, there's some troops in the back. One of them is running here. There's also a few people just following this path, and they're coming to look at what doesn't exist, but would be this way, uh, that way. Um, so if we come around here, we can see that there's two troops coming over here towards this building. And then if you look at the interior of this building, there's one of our terrorists, and he's holding captive a civilian. And then in the background there, you can see the military troop. Yep, yeah, um, so Brendan has to leave my house in a little bit, so we will not be filming a review of the tank together, but I will be filming a review of this tank probably today. I don't know, I'll have to see, um, how I can do time-wise today. I don't know. Um, but you can see troops moving up through here. Um, and then the forest over here near the burning house, there's a little bit of burning tree, there's a chameleon right here. That's from the Lego Explorer series 19, and this is what I did with him. He's one of my World War II guys. I basically just switched his hat. But anyway, um, is there anything you think we missed, Brendan? Um, I just want to point out the detailing of these trees. Oh, yeah. So we Here, I'll show how to yeah. make these trees real quick. So bring it over here in the light, more light. Yeah. So basically, these are supposed to be pine trees. Um, and the way I made these is I went to the Lego store one day, and they had these yep and they had these so basically all i did is i just took this i put it on top right there and then i just stack it up a bunch more and it just makes it look like a really nice little pine tree and then the other tree technique we did is here. um yeah it's more um, of a deciduous tree here is again these little brown poles and then it's just a bunch of these pieces, which are actually quite common, so these are yeah. much easier you to make. You connect the center stud, you just push the center stud together, and then you just do that a bunch in different ways, and it makes it look pretty nice in my opinion. And also we did a little bit of extra ground covering. If Owen, can you move the tree actually a little bit? Yeah. Um, so I'll have to this. do a little bit more there. We yep. didn't get to do a lot of that, but we did enough. Some we little grass add pieces. Add a little bit of grass just if to you want to the... show those pieces... Yeah, go. they're just these. They're normal basically pieces. the same piece that I use for the trees, just with a stud. Yes, as opposed to a little kind of hole, figure-sized hand. Yes, figure-sized pole hand hole. Yes. Um, okay. I think that's gonna about wrap it up for this mock. Sorry, this is kind of a short video. We're kind of trying to rush it because Brennan has to leave, and we do want to film another video um, before he has to leave in about ten minutes. So. Um, I'll probably, I might go a little bit more in-depth on some things, um, and maybe show the minifigures that we use in this. I know you guys haven't seen most of these. Um, I'll do a review of the tank, and other than that, I think that's gonna, gonna about wrap it up. So, just make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite part of the mock is. Um, if you'd like to see Rendon in more videos, what you'd like to see us do. Um, and by the way, the other video we're going to film today, I don't know when it'll be published, but we're going to film a review of the card game Keyforge. Um, so just be on the lookout for that, and see you guys. Bye!